Hi everybody, this is Shelly from Healing Intentions and this is our full moon posting for March the 16th, 2014. Now I know for the past week the energies have been really tough. We've already been able to feel the full moon coming. I know that sleep has been a bit of an issue for a lot of people. I know that last night a lot of us started to feel better because we actually got a decent night's sleep so it's kind of improved the energy a bit. So now this full moon is a very powerful one and a lot of the stuff that we've been asked to work on in the past with the new moons and full moons is really coming into play now, okay? So this full moon is really about illumination. Now illumination is in all areas of our lives. It really actually just means seeing things as they really are. Now that's not always easy or fun to do, but in actual sense, it helps us to know and accept what we are what we truly want, what we desire, how we want our world to look, okay? So now with the energies that have been coming around, I know that it has brought up an awful lot of unresolved fears, doubts, uh, wounds, betrayals, everything like that. And why they are coming up basically is so that we can actually be honest with ourselves to the fact that if we haven't owned what we've done, we need to. And if we have pushed stuff down or decided that we weren't going to deal with it at that time, now it's coming up so that we can deal with it. Now, I know that's not always a fun thing to do, but dealing with things means that we are then able to learn what we needed to learn. We can put it into practice and then we can release it. So if it's not serving up us, if it's not for our greatest good, then we're able to let it go. Okay, now what that does in the big scheme of things is it frees us to be ourselves. It frees us to be able to mm, sit quietly for a little while and listen to our inner voice. Our inner voice is really trying to get us to pay attention because we are no longer being stuck in uh, what we think we need to do. Now we're able to start to really put intentions and energy into uh, the new creative projects that we're working on, the new line of work that we want to step into, all the stuff that seems to be filling our hearts with joy, okay? Now, the other part that I want everybody to understand is I know it's not easy to do this. I know it's not easy to face things. I know it's not easy to own. And whether you were the person who did it or whether you were the person on the receiving end, what this does is as we work through this, it makes us stronger, okay? Because it makes us stronger in who we are, how we respect ourselves, how we see ourselves, how we will treat people in the future. It really brings that out and it also really attracts them having healthy relationships and situations in our lives. So that's the most important thing to remember. Now, if you are still struggling and if you are still having issues and you're still finding that there's nobody you can depend on or there's issues that are coming up that keep replaying themselves and you don't understand why or you just aren't happy, then you really need to go inside of yourself and look at the darkness because the darkness that's in us is our sadness, our despair, um, all of those negative energies. And a lot of times they reside in us just because we haven't finished dealing with something. So there's the full circle, okay? Now, I don't want and I don't wish for anybody to really feel hurt during this period of time. But understand that the pain you feel will make you stronger because there was a lesson to be learned. And then you can put that lesson into play, which will then be a betterment for your life in the big picture. Okay, so I hope I explained that properly. I know it's kind of a circle, but that's just how it's coming out today. Um, now, with all of this, now you become you. And that's the most important thing, okay? Now, the other part that's important about this is everybody's kind of struggling with um, trust. Trust is a real big thing. So now, what I want everybody to do is I want you to understand that if you can be quiet inside of yourself and listen to your inner voice and listen to the guidance and pay attention to what's being presented to you, then take a deep breath and allow. I know I say this an awful lot, but we have to trust that all will be provided. Okay, so that means 
you know, the job that you're seeking or the income that you need, or if you've lost your job, when am I going to find another one? Or, you know, when am I going to find the next person I'm going to have a relationship with? Or when am I actually going to do the stuff that I need to do to make things better? We have to trust that everything will be provided. Okay. Now, do your work. Keep a smile on your face. Make sure you take time to rest and make sure that you are not hard on yourself while you're going through this, okay? The most important part of doing all of this is being respectful to yourself, but own what needs to be owned and release what no longer needs to be, okay? Now, I hope everybody is enjoying the sun. I am, and I hope that everybody does really well during this full moon process. Love yourself, be kind, and know that everything can be as your heart truly desires. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.